Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to compare Cartman vs. Student Grade Watercolor Tube Paints. I only ever use tube, I never use hand because I like the flexibility, and I can get about three half pounds from each of these uh, 14 milliliter tubes. I use professional grade most of the time, but for practicing new techniques and just sort of playing, I flip between Aquafine here and Cotman. Just ignore that gouache on the right, that's for a different video. Um, Windsor and Newton make Cotman, which I personally find superior, and I'm going to show you why. Daler and Rowney make Aquafine. I don't think you can get Aquafine watercolours in the USA too easily, certainly not in tube format from what I hear from my friends. This video is brought to you by SamanthaBriggs.com, the easiest way to receive 100,000 in 2019. No selling and no website needed, completely turnkey, click the link in the description and we'll see you on the inside for the free trip. They dry pretty well into pans like this, but you do need to mix both uh, manufacturers with glycerol. So I have here gamboge, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, indigo, ceru, cadmium red deep, a permanent rose, rose madder, lamp black, and Chinese white. And that's a mixture of the two different brands. I don't really keep them in separate palettes, but I have a lot more red and yellow in this palette than I do blue. This is not my standard palette. This is my kind of extra colors palette. And what I did is mix a single drop of glycerol with a cocktail stick into each of these and then left them for about three days in a cool room to dry down. And just to show you what happens if you don't add glycerol, you can see that they crack like crazy and fast with the pans. The red second from the right is a red from the Cotman range, which didn't crack too badly, but the others have all cracked disastrously. So the importance of the glycerol is paramount with student grade paints. And I will be doing a separate video on how to make those um, pans and how to add the glycerol to them. So I will be covering that later. What I'm going to compare today are two fairly identical paints. They are mauve from uh, Aquafine on the left and Dioxazine purple on the right from Cotman. These are both actually identical. They're both single pigment paints that use PV28, which is dioxazine violet. There is a mauve from Cotman, but it does not contain a single it's a dual pigment paint, so don't get them confused. You can see the price point, which is my local art shop's price point in the United Kingdom, is fairly similar between them. It's just over three dollars if you're in the USA, three euros if you're in Europe. Um, whilst Aquafine is cheaper, I think for the sake of fifteen pence, it's false economy. Really, one should uh, go with the better quality one. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of both of them onto some scrap paper consistency and then I'm going to paint them onto a dry, um, I don't know why I'm filming my hand, sorry, a dry uh, Daler and Rowney Aquafine watercolour postcard which is what the base material is here. I'm going to paint the dry using a water brush nice and simple just so I can show you what the pigment loads are like, remembering that in terms of pigment these two paints are identical, they have the same pigment. You can see the Aquafine has a gel-like consistency, it's rather Reminds me of some acrylic paints um, that are kind of soft liquid consistency, but it holds its own on the paper. It hasn't fallen into a puddle. The common, on the other hand, harder. It's almost like in that very hard, you really have to squeeze from the tube. And I can see already it's a much darker colour. So that implies to me the pigment load is higher. Cocktail stick now, and I'm just going to jab the blend. The gel if the Aquafine means I can tease it out easily and spread it. So that means when you're putting it into the pans, it's really easy. The Cotman, on the other hand, what you can't see are the little dents that I made in the surface. It's really hard. Stirring that with glycerol in the pan can be a bit difficult, but you don't really need it as much with Cotman colours on the whole. They do tend to dry a little bit better than Aquafine do, though I would say it's still essential to go through that process. So this is dry um, cold press. Uh, watercolour and I'm going to use a Pentel broad tip water brush filled with tap water at room temperature that's the one I keep in my studio all the time paint a few stripes here having just the tip of the wet brush to pick up some colour and then I'm going to go in the opposite direction and I'm going to spread it out we see it's mobilised really well now dioxazine violet of course is a staining pigment not green 
activating, not sedimenting. So it's quite easy to work with as it doesn't really sink away too much. It does um, appear to have done a little bit here, but it's really a trick of the light. What you're seeing is just that where the grooves are in the paper, we're looking through a deeper layer. So it appears darker. It looks a little bit like it's it's not at all. It's just sitting there. It's not really doing a great deal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just wiping the end of the water brush and I'm going to come back. Now I've had the end of it a lot more for the Cotman because it's a little bit stiffer and it's kind of hard to mobilise the colour at first when working from its tube, which of course no one really does. And I'm just going to draw it out again in the same way. I'm not doing a perfectly fair test here, I admit, because if I was, I'd be using identical amounts of pigment. I'd be spreading, spreading them in exactly the same way. Paint, sorry, not pigment. And I'd be doing it in a much more controlled manner. But you can see already that they both have identical colour. The consistency and the vibrancy is really very similar. But the pigment on the Cotman to is much fewer of those pale patches. That you get with the one above just dripping in a few drops of the neat color here and you can see the intensity and the depth of the color on the cotman as it spreads stays there it, it really is made